Hello guys and welcome. This time, I've already released the hoof trimming video of the goats. This time I'm gonna do a bit of a story time because while I was doing this, um, I told stories about my goats and I'm gonna share them with you today. So this one's quite special and uh, I hope you enjoy. Are you getting too old? Hmm. Yeah. See, it's a pretty good story, this one. Or, I mean, it's kind of sad. So, she's not going to want to talk to me right now. But, oh, come on. Come on, I've got So, her first year, yeah, her first year, she lost her baby. And,. I had already done like a count um, to count how many, a sonar to count how many lambs she had. So I knew she had one. I knew one who was her age, it was the first year, had two. So she looked just like this one. This one? No, she does. And I knew she had two. And for the first year, one, two is a little bit too much. They can, but. The mom's gonna grow really slowly, and goats generally grow for a couple of years. Uh, they don't take out most of the maturity from the first year and a half, it's up to three. And so I wanted to be like a good, uh, good farmer and like try and solve that issue and also let her have one of her own. And what I did was I milked her for three weeks waiting for the other one to give birth. She finally did. At that point, she didn't want them. She wanted me. So they stayed in the pen for 10 days, all four of them. So the original mom, the two kids and her, she never let them drink unless I stayed there. So I had to come. I had to scratch her like this, and then she let them suck because she was used to. I was her baby, kind of. And... You know, I thought, okay, I'll just have to deal with this this summer. Once a day, you know, I'll come. You know, the kids were used to it. They knew immediately when I came, they could drink. So, you know, once a day, I'll just go wherever they are, you know, find them, scratch her like this. Yeah, that was the plan. And then, you know, time continued. This is like a six weeks from when she loses her kid until lambing season has finished during that time. And there was this really small, really beat up little kid. So he lost his mom. We tried to fix him up with a sheep. She really didn't want him. She just, yeah. And so we thought, okay, you know, screw it. Let's have a bottle baby. This is, you know, he, he was like, he was half blind. And, uh, he, he, you know, he, he, the, he, the mom, or the, the foster mom was just, uh, yeah. how ugly words can you use? Anyway, uh, I put him with the goats because I had to go there every day. I wanted to, or uh, you know, a couple, uh, once, twice a day. You know, I they generally in in springtime I put them outside and in, in pens very close to the buildings. I don't let them out just completely because the young kids they go everywhere and that's just a mess of them. So put them there, and he of course he's in there. He's going. Bah! Yeah, you know, looking for a mom, and, and he's in with the goats, and some of the goats really didn't like him either, but at least it's a big space, you know. So every time he came close to one, they hit, hit him, and he was, you know, crying and crying and crying. But she started to run after him, not to hit him, to mother him. And so it was, uh, he was, uh, he, he was tiny, you know, he was just, uh, yay big, probably. Um, week old or something. He turned out when everything was finished, he was like 36 kilos, which is quite good for a lamb that has a rocky start like that. So uh, that was her first year. That year after, she had two lambs, no issues. No, two kids. Sorry, no issues. Year after that, she has no kids and uh, just isn't pregnant. Well, fine, fair enough. She's just with the goat group. It's uh, it's the end of, uh, in 10th of June, 10th of June, something like that, maybe 15th of June. The goats are going out every morning, coming in in the evening, you know, just a normal routine. 
I lose a sheep and two lambs become become um, motherless. And what had happened with her is that the the kids, especially the boys, they had started to run after her and try to drink from her, even though there was nothing in there. And by the by that time, there actually had something started to form. It wasn't very nutritious, but it solved the issue of they had a mom. So I took her to the lambs, and I essentially I came here and I scratched her, and I don't know how I got the lambs. I think the lambs just went under to drink. They were just like very hungry. They had refused to drink anything we had given them. Now she's like, oh, God, we're gonna have a big struggle, big big struggle. No. And so, and immediately she arc, she arcs her back. She's just like, oh yeah, she's, you know. And they stayed together the whole summer, and yeah, just a fantastic piece of goat here. I've tried to, um, I've tried to, um, you know, breed her, but she always she's very proficient in making bucks, and then if she makes those. Um, it's generally they have horns and if you look at my herd I don't have many with horns I'm trying not to have them with horns but that's why we're kind of trying to keep her even though she's a bit old to be fair she just deserves it you know not everyone does you know to this extent you know you see how slow she was she's, I doubt she's feeling you know her best years of the night or else she's feeling good Every day she wakes up, you know, she wakes up and everything's creaking, but she's one of those, I'm going to try and keep her as long as possible. It's also good to have, like, group elders, or not group elders, just like a, yeah, like an elder in the herd. Like, even the one with horns, they're quite the boss in here, they're just like, I'm boss. I mean, they they move it away with the horns, but it's not just like bullying. Okay, story time over. Let's go with the next one. Let's try and do the numbers. Of course, uh, the next oldest one is the furthest away, I think. It's a possibility. This one, I have to look at the books. So I inseminated all of them. Uh, so it's possible. The last one also had quite the other. They didn't give, give birth soon. I kind of assumed because everything went haywire the next weeks after I after I uh, put the bucks in. Everything went haywire. You know, everybody was kind of you know me next, me next. And I'm not gonna say many to birth, but there are some that apply. To that situation, you can just fill in the blanks yourself. So, I didn't think that a lot of them would, would um, go for it, but apparently some of them would work for Because it should be, comparing when I put the buck, buck in, we're five weeks away from it. This one's given birth in two weeks. Maybe we're getting closer to kidding season. It's I call it joking season. It's the kidding season, the lamb season. Uh, maybe that's, that's too many layers for a joke to be funny. Probably. Oi, yeah, so so. You okay. You went straight. Big hat is probably in the way. Good camera angle. That's, good. That's okay. I'm, I'm an excellent editor. I can probably edit it out. Yeah. This is a joke, by the way. I'm horrible at it. Horrible at it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Her, last year. She's kind of. And so she gives birth to two kids and no she gave birth to one 
and another on the first year gave birth to two. At the same time, in there, there were all sorts of... Most of the goats, had, or all of the goats, were already given birth, so there was a lot of going on, a lot of older kids running around. And she had taken one of the other ones, I could just see it, because hers was bigger and the other two were, were smaller. She didn't want any of them. She had, when I came there, she was licking one from the younger one. So I took that and the bigger one, bigger one, put it in, in a solitary pen. She didn't want any of it. And I held like, a, if you, this is not a way to do, go, you know, it's just like, I didn't call her every word in the book, but I was just like, this is not, you know, how we're going to be doing business here, you know. This, all of them, they're so mothering, you know, it's, it's, it's an issue how much mothering they are. I, I once had another one, she had horns, I was just moving them in-house. The dog, you know, she was far away, but just far away, not just sitting where she was supposed to. The goat sees her, runs across, and chases her, as you can go like around in this house, just chases her. And, I mean, that's how protective and mothering they were, you know, and that's my experience, you know, and it's like, this is used to, you know, you're supposed to be much better, and then the next day everything was fine, she was just like, oh yeah, mother them, no problem, you know. She was, I, maybe it's just her character, she just isn't, you know, maybe, but she, you know, I can show you, but, or maybe you could see it, she is really black, and that's kind of what I'm trying to breed in here, so I'm kind of, I'm taking the hit of, like, yeah, she's not as nice, but I I I want that. So yeah. Okay. Next one. Oh, we're into the horns now. It doesn't matter which system I take. So right now there are two horns. Very close. Very close to something that I use every day. Uh, my behind. <sighs> One day, I'm gonna grow horns, and I'm gonna stick them somewhere you don't want them. Ah, you can go. go. Ah, yeah. Now for her sister. I don't know if you can see it. She's still recovering from a rash she had last year. And I'm kind of of the belief that I want my animals generally to like like recover on their own. Especially with the goats because antibiotics and, and stuff like that generally isn't that effective. The one time I used it, it did help, I will say. It's, it's just what everybody says, and I have kind of believed it. I'm not sure. Um, that's, you know, antibiotics would have helped. But I was just like, you know, she she needs to, you know, deal with it on her own kind of way, you know. Just hey, hey, I, 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 you know. Like I want a, a strong herd. I don't. Maybe I should have not kept her. And, 
gotten rid of possibilities. I, how do you stop doing that? Ah, hmm. uh, yeah. Maybe I should have not kept her and. Hey. Okay. Here I go. I fight as dirty as I need to. So that's the end of the stories I tell during this trimming session. I trimmed a few more goats at that point. I was about a half at that point. Did all the younger ones and, and all of that, but not as many stories to tell because with the younger ones, there aren't as many stories already told. So those stories are in the works and kidding season or joking season is around the corner and I'm going to share that with you too. Okay. Bye-bye.